Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this Roblox game on Scratch. If you want a tutorial on how to make this game on Scratch, please like this video and subscribe. So, let's get on with this video. So, first what I did was I made it so I wanted um, everyone to have a Roblox um, avatar. So they have the Roblox face, Roblox face. So when you push the flag, you'll just go to a regular face, and if if you hover over the face, it'll show like this little camera popping up. And if you push on the camera, it'll lead you to the avatar shot. So I just put one thing in the shot for now, but there will be many other things like a zombie one. So yeah. So there's just a ninja one right now, and it's on sale for 15 Robux. So, you can get this, like I can get it right now. I just tap on it, and it goes there. And it, and it makes it so I lose 15 Robux. But, if I, what if I don't have any Robux? Well, this is what you do. So, if you don't, if I'm gonna set my Robux to zero, and I'll show you what happens. If you try to get the avatar, even though I already have it, again, if you try to get it with the Robux, it says purchase cannot be made. So that's what it said. I just I was just gonna push cancel, and as you notice that these sprites move when you push on them. I just made them a little bit bigger when you pushed on them, and yeah. So right now I have no Robux. So what should I do? Well, I it little it says right here. Gold rush, so maybe that gives me some gold for so, or Robux. That's it, and it's a new game, so let's push on it, and it does. So let's get some gold. So you're just pushing on it, it gives you a lot of gold. I'm just gonna keep pushing on it until I uh, have enough again for another ninja sprite, and then there's this thing right here that says leave game. So I'm just gonna leave the game by pushing this. That's pretty cool. And on the side, it says play games for free, Roblox. So that's that's just an ad. And we don't like ads, so yeah. It's just there for showing. And some of you might be wondering how I made it so my username popped up on this variable right here. So I'll, sh I'll show you how to do that. So I'm just gonna go right here and it says when flag clicked forever set username to user and there's two usernames I made a username variable and so I made a variable and I just called it username so that's why there's two usernames so you can call it anything you want but to make it easy I just call it username and then you can go to sensing and it will and you just scroll down a little and it says username so you can just drag that to there just like that. So that's how you make the using like that. And to make everything move correctly, and to make this, so when you hover over it to make it move, and to make their camera pop up, I did when flag clicked forever. If not touching mouse pointer, then switch costume to costume one. And costume one is this costume, the regular costume. And then, if touching mouse pointer, then switch costume to costume 2. So, costume 2 is here. So, I basically did no coding whatsoever. That's all I did for the whole avatar thing. So, it's just gonna hover over it. I'm not even clicking. Just hover over it, and it will show that. So, now I have enough for the ninja sword. And I uh, have 55. I got it from the game. So, now I can buy it. And now I have a cool avatar of a ninja. And the background was I basically just did when I received Gold Rush, switch background to the plain one, and then when I re when I receive Endgame, switch backdrop to backdrop one. So I made it so there's different backdrops. So if you want a tutorial on how to make this game on scratch, then like this video and subscribe. Until then, see you later.